Welcome to Manchester. A cracking derby in prospect and everyone on tenterhooks here at Old Trafford. It is United versus City. Derek Ray in the commentary position, joined as always by Stuart Robson. And Stuart, this should be thoroughly appetising. Well, Derek, what more could you ask for? A noisy stadium, two very good teams and a massive rivalry. This should be an absolute classic. This is the team Manchester United will go with. David De Gea between the posts. Rafael Varane plays with Victor Lindelof in central defence. Bruno Fernandes plays alongside Scott McTominay in midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. And so the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson between the posts. Kyle Walker plays with João Cancelo in the fullback positions. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of the park. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone with just the one player in attack. And so the match is underway. And unable to keep the ball. No space for them here. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Well, there it is, the first caution of this match. Well, he didn't need to make the challenge, did he? He's under pressure now. It's a long time to go in this game. Delivered into the box, foiling them effectively. Jaden Sancho. Well, he's lost the ball. Rodri. On to Silva. City move it forward with purpose. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Cristiano Ronaldo. It's with McTominay. Good looking ball. Cross could be useful. Well, no danger now. Diogo Dallo. It is a decent looking attack here. Throw in to Manchester United. Possibilities in the centre. Sancho. Here's Ronaldo. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Well, thumped clear. Room to roam for City on the wing. And space for the cross. Smuggled away. Foden, and the keeper throws himself at the ball.
Well, a short corner here. Laporte. Fantastic work to thwart the danger. It's going to be United's free kick. Lindelof and unable to keep possession and Bernardo Silva has it can they forge ahead and a goal City jump in front in the derby and that has stunned the fans into silence astonishing Well, let's take another look. It's a really well-timed pass to break the offside line. And there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. So United restart the game. Disappointed to have conceded. Can they come up with an equaliser? Jaden Sancho. Rafael Baran. There to win it back. Mares. Plays it back. And it might be. Terrific piece of anticipation. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. Counter attacking, very much an option. Well, not to be in terms of the counter attack. The Brainet. Well, cleared away over the byline, and a corner kick to come. Taken short. Well, he made great contact with that one, but the goalkeeper had his own ideas. Not the best challenge, free kick. to extend their lead here and the spot kick is converted as coolly as you like well as you can see this was always coming they've been piling on the pressure it's a well-deserved goal Second goal for them here. Absolutely spot on, and they keep the ball. Bernardo Silva. Foden. Laporte. The ball with Rodri. And can they prize them open now? City pushing forward with options available. Vital interception. The danger was very real. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Bruno Fernandes. On to Ronaldo. Ronaldo. 
Bernardo Silva. Three minutes of added time here. Foden. On to Holland. What a save! Let's see about the delivery. A disappointing effort, making the keeper's life a bit too easy. And that will do it for the first half here at the Theatre of Dreams. Well, just watching him closely throughout this match, it seems to me, Stuart, he's being constantly overrun. What's your take on his performance? Well, he's struggled today. He just hasn't been able to find space. He hasn't passed it very well, and he's become frustrated. And as a result, the team have played poorly. And so the match is underway. Well, there it is, the first caution of... Foden. And the keeper throws himself at the ball. And Bernardo Silva has it. Can they forge ahead? And a goal! City jump in front in the derby. And that has stunned the fans into silence. To extend their lead here. And the spot kick is converted as coolly as you like. Foden, on to Holland. What a save! And off and running again, it really was spellbinding what we saw from City in the first half. So let's see how the second 45 plays out. Cristiano Ronaldo. Into the advanced position. And the flag has gone up just when he looked ready to pounce, perhaps. Well, he was just too static in the end, which is a shame because that was a dangerous situation. De Bruyne now. At times they make passing look easy. Walker. De Bruyne. Here's Bernardo Silva. And a very good challenge. Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes. Fine work from City to win the ball back. Nice looking pass. And he read it well defensively. United might be able to cash in. Could reduce the deficit. Well, that takes the wind out of their sails. Great defending. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Walker. Well, possibilities in the centre. Useful cross towards the near post. Clearing the lines, and so it will be a corner now.
And Manchester City will go to their bench. Elects to go short. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. Well, the card is out, and it's yellow. Yeah, it's clumsy, and it's late. Definitely a yellow card. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Excellent ball towards the front post. Well, still an issue here. And I think the threat has been averted. Cristiano Ronaldo. And it's won by Emerick Laporte. He'll have a go here. Oh, my goodness. What an outrageous hit. I can't believe he took it on from there. And neither can the goalkeeper. Again, and just look at this, it's such good technique. It's a wonderful strike from that range. Here's a change for Manchester United. This is looking rather comfortable for them. 3-0. Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh, the pass not finding its target. Rodri. De Bruyne now. Walker. De Bruyne. Holland. Well, a nearly moment just over the top. A change in the offing for City. Well, not far away from full time, and a disappointing Manchester United outing this. Well, this is certainly a performance to forget because they've been totally outplayed today. How many times have they been opened up during this game? They have to defend better than this. It's been a dismal display. Excellent use of advantage from the referee in City's favour. Well, nicely cut out. Oh, he's lost possession of the ball. Mares! In it goes! Such a complete performance. Four in front now. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Bruno Fernandes. This might have potential. 
but really sticking to the task defensively Kevin De Bruyne on the move Mares. and given the defenders touch the referee says corner Who can they pick out? Well, that's how to do it inside your own penalty area. Bruno Fernandes. Cristiano Ronaldo. A glorious chance. Well, just narrowly over the crossbar. Good hit, though. And the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes. Over the touchline for a throw-in. Wonderful challenge and a throw-in coming up. Bruno Fernandes. Nemanja Matic has it. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Real chance. And there's the final whistle. The grim news from the Manchester United point of view is that United haven't picked up anything from this game. It was the nature of the performance more than anything else. They never got out of second gear and were completely dominated all over the park. Tell you what, though, I wouldn't want to be in that dressing room right now. Well, and the final analysis, a top-level contribution from Riyad Mahrez. And how many times do we say that? Quite a lot is the answer. Stuart, sum up for us what impressed you. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference-maker today.